a carcass Charles Baudelaire remember, my love, the object we saw that beautiful morning in June, by a bend in the path a carcass reclined on a bed sown with pebbles and stones. Her legs were spread out like a lecherous hour, sweating out poisonous fumes, who opened in slick invitational style her stinking and festering womb. The sun on this row tennis focused its rays to cook the cadaver till done, and render to nature a hundredfold gift of all she'd united in one. And the sky cast an eye on this marvelous meat as over the flowers and bloom. The stench was so wretched that there on the grass you nearly collapsed in a swoon. The flies buzzed and droned on these bowels of filth where an army of maggots arose, which flowed with a liquid and thickening stream on the animate rags of her clothes. And it rose and it fell, and pulsed like a wave, rushing and bubbling with health. One could say that this carcass, blown with vague breath, lived in increasing itself. And this whole teeming world made a musical sound like babbling brooks and the breeze, or the grain that a man with a winnowing fan turns with a rhythmical ease. The shapes wore away as if only a dream like a sketch that is left on the page, which the artist forgotten can only complete on the canvas, with memory's aid. From back in the rocks, a pitiful bitch eyed us with angry distaste, awaiting the moment to snatch from the bones the morsel she dropped in her haste. And you, in your turn, will be rotten as this, horrible, filthy, undone, O oh son of my nature and star of my eyes, my passion, my angel in one. Yes, such will you be, O oh regent of grace, after the rites have been read, under the weeds, under blossoming grass as ye moulder with bones of the dead. Ah then, O oh my beauty, explain to the worms who cherish your body so tine that I am a keeper for corpses of love of the form, and the essence divine.